we live in times today that, uh, that we definitely need to do all we can to keep our children true to the red, white, and blue. Our world is changing, our country is changing, and we just want to be good stewards in, in, in directing these kids. Uh, and why not uh, through, through military leaders, uh, whether they're active, reserve, or retired, such as in my case, we still have a responsibility that we should all have to contribute for the greater good. Each service have their own, you know, celebration, if you will, their own ball. And that's normally when you're on active duty. When you retire, you're kind of forgotten. So we want an opportunity to bring everyone back, you know, and hey, if, even if we didn't know each other, we'll know each other before the night. So, and that's what it's all about. Just saying thank you, thank you for the sacrifices and heroic acts that you've done throughout your career to make America safe and free for the hall. Most vets, they, they don't necessarily need the money or they need the jobs, they, they need a purpose to, to, to get their hands into and say, hey, look, I'm, I'm able to serve post-service and make a difference. And that, that's what the American Veterans Ball actually provides. Their connection with the I'm Home uh, Foundation, which is supporting at-risk youth in the community um, on all levels, that's what we're coming together to celebrate today. So we have a whole bunch of veterans who are celebrating their heritage, they're coming together, but it's an opportunity for them to know that them being here, their money, their dollars, their energy, is all going to support and educate the next generation. And the funds from the ball, 25% are given back to um, military dependent camps. Other of the funds go to the home, with it, which is a outreach program within the communities, uh, focuses on low income, so it's trying to target youth. We're really focusing on, on the, the, the benefit of bringing us all together here. It's, it's so important to keep the, bring the family back together and, and, and share those values all together, but also talk about the importance that we, we can't leave people on the battlefield. One of the core values that our military holds dear is, is a service. And so while we're wearing the uniform, obviously we're serving our country in whatever mission we're asked to do. But sometimes when we take off the uniform to have a sense of purpose, that, that sense of service still goes on. So we service you know, a variety of organizations to give back to our community. It helps also engage uh, veterans, uh, especially those who are retired or who have served, uh, willing to still be part of the community, it's their way of life, they still got things to offer. It's a win-win-win situation all around.